Hi everybody, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is Sagittarius reading for the 13th to the 19th of July 2020 and one of my Sagittarians is having a really exciting day and that's why I'm burning the candle and I'm burning the candle for the rest of you too. I wish you good luck today and that goes for everybody. Okay, so here we go my darlings, welcome back and you came in 6th at the same level as Cancer with 26 likes for the video that I did last week and I hope you will enjoy this week and thank you very much for your likes and shares and if you're new and you've landed on the page today then welcome. Uh, my, uh, I've been sending out healings to all of you and uh, not only just Sagittarians but to every zodiac sign and every person that has set the intention to receive love, healing, nurturing, support and care from me and the angels through Reiki and prayers. Okay. Now, if you are new, welcome, please subscribe and hit the bell on all, then you'll be notified when new videos are loaded up or when I go live, and I do go live three times a week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday, I put out notifications on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube on the community button, um, as I have had complaints from uh, viewers that they are not being notified. Okay, so I'm trying to do my best to uh, notify you at least two hours beforehand, so keep the community tab in a notice, and also become a member of uh, Charlie's Angel Tarot on Facebook. Okay, and then you will be um, kept up to date. Instagram is even faster, I believe. Okay. I'm sorry if I say okay, I'm a bit nervous because my daughter is Sagittarius and she's doing an exam. So that's why I'm burning two candles from each end to keep the balance. And the cards that have come out uh, are exciting, so I'm going to go into it straight away. But if you want an exclusive reading or an extensive reading privately, then look in the description box or in the top right hand corner. I'm wishing everybody that um, has exams or anything important today, good luck. This is the Querent card or the overall energy card, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And the corner cards that will be clarified by the three tarots or the tarot will clarify the um, Lenormand card. Then I've got the White Witches Oracle, um, uh, sorry, the White Witches uh, um, tarot and that's the big arcana cards and there you go that one there is a review I love these cards because they're brilliant for t tattoos besides their meanings okay and then I've got an Archangel Michael card for suggestion or support or a task uh, or advice and an answer of the angels. The first card that you have is the Page of Swords and the Page of Swords is of course um, Aquarius. So there might be an Aquarius um, around you that is quite important but don't exclude Gemini or Libra. You could be getting news through cyber definitely. Um, this could be email, telephone, text message or um, even uh, fax or uh, SMS and the old-fashioned messages or even an airmail letter. Whoa, nice one. Something will become clear to you. Could be also judicial news um, or news from a municipality as the sorts stands for justice and that's an institution and municipality as well so you might even be getting news about an exam that you've done you might be getting your diploma who knows or you could meet be meeting one of the air signs on Monday you have the moon you are in the spotlight this is on the 13th okay 1 and 8 becomes 9, so there is an end to a phase, and there is a new phase bringing 
uh, being brought to you or beginning today. You are on this path, the path to your northern note. You are on the right path. Okay, that could be uh, what could be significant is also Cancer because we see the crab there, but Pisces uh, is represented by the moon card. There could be secrets, or somebody could be wearing a mask. Okay, so be careful. Forewarned is forearmed. You, you've got the dark side of the moon, so somebody is being darkish or s keeping secrets from you. Okay, you need to do more research to get to know who it is or what it is that is being uh, lurking or is lurking in the shadows. You see the two trees here, usually in the deck you see two pillars, so the angels are giving you a doorway to a new path. Okay, so take that doorway, listen to your intuition, listen to new ideas, also don't ignore your feelings okay they could give you answers to something that you don't know don't doubt your feelings your emotions might be slightly more sensitive or heightened mm, yes and we at the end of the week week definitely around the 19th because then we're going we're nearing the cusp of Leo so make sure that you are aware of your emotions or your sensitivity uh, perhaps your spirituality your high sensitive uh, senses um, they might be working overtime especially around the full moon or the new moon especially around the time of Leo because then we will be going into a fire sign and um, you are a fire sign so you might be highly sensitive because we're going into your energy next okay on Wednesday on Wednesday you have the six you will be back in balance because you've got the six okay and there could be somebody uh, coming back from the past because this card in this deck is the six of pentacles it is if you are less fortunate you might be getting a gift from somebody if you are more fortunate you might be giving to the less fortunate but in this card it's like also the ghost is somebody from the past it could be somebody in an other realm leaving you messages behind showing them showing you they are showing you that you are not alone that you are they are with you okay and they could give you a feather they could give you a penny they could give you an other form of sign as well and this is also my card share and share alike because you can see they are giving each other something even if um, an angel or a spirit or an ancestor is leaving a message behind for you then you will be giving them a, a message by just thinking their name okay that is how it works so simple as that right this is also the page is also messages so it could be somebody from the other realm giving you a sign that is your gift or your present things are going to happen on Friday Wow very fast it won't rain it will pour you will get message after message after message after message after message things will be happening rapidly very fast you've got the eight you are in your power and your money house you might even get a rice well, that could be the news okay positive news action you might even travel you might even travel this could be for work or this could be for holiday wow and at the weekend you have the knight of cups the knight of cups is a cancer is a, a, a scorpio or a pisces you could be receiving a love offer or something that you're passionate about your wish perhaps news about your wish whoa nice one so the cups stand for passion love nurturing caring sensuality and sexuality 
there might even be a Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces in love with you. Woo, nice one. You have positive cards here. Woo, positive energy. Keep it rocking. Okay, now, you've got number 31, which is 1 and 4 is stability. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. So something new is beginning. That could be the news everywhere. You've got news, news, news. A new beginning, perhaps a promotion. Okay, and since you've got the nine on the moon card, that could a phase is finishing. You're going into a new phase because you're moving from eight to nine. Uh, where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. This is a new beginning with for money or something that's durable and for long term. This could be with a Virgo, a, a Taurus or a Capricorn. But this could be a house, this could be a job, this could be a relationship for long term because they do go for durability and long term. It will be built on proper foundations. It could also be a Leo. So you, here you are, you've got Virgo and Leo. So the next two months might be very, very important. You might be moving up a level like this you can see the spokes of the uh, rays of the sun as spokes of a circle a bike a wheel so you could be climbing up in love relationship or work relationship or business relationship you will be hearing of a, a, a birth this could be of a child or a project okay you could be moving home you could be expanding your business so you are moving your business or you could be going on holiday wow we've got two travel cards here okay so amazing and remember you're in the spotlight like I said a Leo might have an eye on you but somebody has okay um, spotlight also illuminates so if you have an answer or a question I mean a situation or a question something will be illuminated and you've got the opposites the moon and the Sun we can't do without the dark and the light the shadow side and the light side so it might take a day and a night and that is what I'm feeling but something is being illuminated definitely a new beginning and by the looks of the sun you will have find, found out what was hidden and um, you will know you will get the news um, the news all the news cards will bring you knowledge as to what was being illuminated or which way to go Wow this is exciting okay good luck then we have the woman in the corner and that's the ace of spades and that's the ace of swords and you've got 29 29 is very significant because that becomes an 11 and that means that the angels are giving you that doorway like the two trees 11 okay the angels are giving you new beginnings okay believe in the angels she's sitting there dreaming okay you can dream and relax love will come in something that you're passionate about is coming in okay nothing but positivity um, you um, the ace of swords means victory the ace of swords means there could be a new communication new study as to new wisdom as the swords stand for wisdom communication new communication perhaps with a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarium and uh, we have the Aquarian here okay um, it could be with a, f uh, a female, it could be with a man that is very nurturing and caring, Has a, his feminine side is more prominent than the masculine side. Absolutely amazing, beautiful. Don't turn your back on news though. If this news is, is coming in, then turn around, right? 
turn round <laughs> and watch the news and do take action take action otherwise it won't happen what you want you might even start a new study whoa nice one and this if you are a lady then I think you are going to get news lots of news more so than the men because there's no man lying next to you you could actually be getting news from a man because you've got the king uh, the king of spades here okay amazing the king of spades you have the ace of spades which is a woman so this could be a couple okay but this could also be the king of spades can also be a woman but then it will be a man with a feminine side do you, answer, do you see there's no sexes in the cards but this king of swords he stands um, for a mature man that has his emotions under control is steadfast knows what he wants he knows the letter of the law and he ha he knows the rules and regulations he's an authoritative person this could be the head of a firm the head of a school or a uh, yeah a professional man this could be a jurist this could be an advocate somebody that will fight through thick and thin to get you justice and clarity but you've got the ace of swords here that means victory and now you might become the king of swords with all this knowledge but I am the lilies means uh, you be you might be seeking uh, professional advice luck in business you could get advice from a man uh, that is mature that you have a lot respect for or a father figure 30 becomes a 3 creativity you will be creative perhaps you might seek advice on how to create a new beginning because you've got the ace of swords here there is victory and I did not sort out these cards and again <laughs> confirmation that you might be starting a new study you've got a four here now where else you've got the 31 here and you've got the 13 there 13 but also means to me fellowship from the I Ching friendship more friends coming in be more playful don't be too serious okay you've got the book you've got the book so there might be a new study and you might be learning it more in a playful manner so that means that you might be um, doing an internmanship more practical side than the theory side but be more playful don't be too serious be serious when you need to be serious okay and you've got building blocks there and you need every single building block to make a house to make it substantial and secure to make your castle and your car your home is your castle you are at the beginning like the child so just keep on building slowly but steadily okay wow nice one the page of swords here again the page of swords could be an Aquarian news 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 and this is confirming the three cards with news wow loads of news for new beginnings the child also means there might be a pregnancy there could be news about a birth this could be about a child or a new project new job new work new study wow the ace of source also means a new study or you might advance uh, a, a level higher in a study as we've got the Sun here right advancing at work in work education relationships wow now the card that you've got from the white witches tarot is Libra okay the Empress um, the Empress um, represents Libra that's why I said Libra but she also represents Mother Earth now I'm seeing angels wings here 
then I'm seeing the eagle's uh, nose here so the eagle see things from a different perspective okay spread your wings that's what I'm also hearing here but the basic meaning of the Empress means Mother Earth fertility so if you don't want to get pregnant make sure you take precautions uh, birth of a child birth of a new project growth because she nurtures everything that she sows so that it will grow and blossom and harvest perhaps something might be harvesting for you with all this news that you are getting a result and that you can pluck the abundance of the growth or the blossom or you might be meeting a Libra okay remember when you once you sow a seed it takes time to grow so give it time and perhaps time is now and we were talking about Leo we were talking about uh, the King of Pentacles and that is uh, Taurus May hang on a minute No, that that's uh, swords. Hang on a minute. The King of Swords is Gemini. Eight is Leo. Eighth month. Then we've got the uh, Knight of Cups, so that can be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We've got Aquarius, Pisces, the Moon. I'm just trying to sort out the. Ace, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Now I thought I thought I get uh, you had Leo, 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 Leo. Pentacles, Pentacles, King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is Taurus. No, that's the King of Swords. Sorry. I've got to stop this because I've got to get this clear. Yes. So something has been. Um, quite uh, important uh, you are going up steadily because you've got the six here then we've got Cancer Scorpio Cancer is number seven the seventh month then we've got Leo that is the eighth month but we've also got Pentacles here which also represents Virgo the ninth month let alone Capricorn and Taurus and then we've got a 1 and 8 here which is a 9 so that is lying next to each other so that's September so um, June July August September is definitely a very important month for you and there is stability coming into your life because of the Sun and because uh, you've got 13 and 31 which is a 4 and that means proper foundations so something is really prominent here it, it sounds a lot like um, Scorpio I've just done Scorpio and uh, I got muddled with the numbers there but definitely you've got 4 4 which is also an 8 stability you will be coming back into the powerhouse and the money house and the money house means ace of pentacles a new beginning a promotion a new job a new study because you've also uh, got the ace of swords which is also a new study and you've got the king of swords clarity you might be helped uh, by uh, a professional man this could be a judge a jury a bookkeeper a doctor anybody that cuts a surgeon but it's because the sword stand also for wisdom it could be a teacher and it also stands for municipalities and institutions so you might be even getting help from somebody from such an institution perhaps a finance a finance uh, a grant or something you could be receiving news about this that is quite magical or an internment ship that will pay pay you and will pay you more that your wages will go up higher the more qualified you get because you do have two cards about study so because they might want to keep you in their employment you might get a, a, a better grant or a grant from them or you might get a pay rise 
that will be very very nice something that is that you're nurturing and growing you've planted the seeds and that's the empress and you're nurturing it by study and by studying it and uh, making it grow and where you can uh, pick the fruit off uh, in the near future so you have a um, returning income harmonious lifestyle balance work rest and play there you go rest and play so take your rest okay okay Archangel Michael Michael advises you to focus on balancing all facets of your life to create a harmonious lifestyle well wow and green card to me means money means space means healing okay and it also means um, uh, the family tree like in the Lenormand because they're green you might feel comfortable where you are and you like that space so you want to stay there you feel like one of the family it will bring you rediment it will bring you healing it will physically mentally materially and on the long term you are ready for this big change that is what I'm hearing you're ready because there is big changes coming messages 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 you might even be traveling taking a holiday two cards that you might be taking a short break or a holiday or moving um, upwards or moving home Wow I really do like this reading sorry for the muddle up before but I'm only human so don't shoot the messenger but stability and balance will be yours that will come true definitely okay just be patient Sagittarius sorry Sagittarius um, I was looking back and I just saw something and I didn't mention that you can see here receiving gifts if you are less fortunate you might be getting something from the fortunate if you are fortunate you might be giving something to the less fortunate now let's say that you are 18 and you want to go to college well we've got the king of uh, we've got the ace of diamonds here we've got the king of uh, swords here and he's from institutions so there might be an institution or a municipality that might give you money right the ace of pentacles for your study these two cards are study so you might be getting a gift for your study not only a rice from a municipality or an institution but it could also be a municipality you might be getting a grant and I thought I'd better do a PS so here you are your last little message thank you very much for your understanding your patience and I hope you like this reading you might even see a tax return that could be as well a gift from the tax okay that is a municipality as well so I hope you forgive me for the, the, the mix-up but there you go it is worthwhile so please like and share and I take care and have a wonderful week and stay positive and stay safe Love you all. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all. And I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.